Thank you so much for being here. And I want to give a special thank you to my rock, my wife, Evelyn, who's been with us every step of the way. I love you and appreciate you so much, baby. Thank you so much. New Hampshire and everyone who supported this campaign, thank you for everything you've done to make this campaign possible over these past months. You all have uplifted me and inspired me and Evelyn and this campaign at every turn. Your passion and energy, your donations, and hundreds of thousands of hours calling, volunteering, your enthusiasm, dedication, and commitment. We've accomplished so much together. We have brought a message of humanity first and a vision of an economy and society that works for us and our families to millions of our fellow Americans. We went from a mailing list that started with just my Gmail contact list to receiving donations from over 400,000 people around the country and millions more who've supported this campaign. One of the things I'm most proud of, we gave $1,000 a month to 13 families around the country. <laughs> including Jody Fassi right here in New Hampshire. We highlighted the real problems in our communities as our economy is being transformed before our eyes by technology and automation. And Americans know now that when you go to a factory in Michigan, you do not find wall-to-wall -wall immigrants doing work. You find wall-to-wall -wall robot arms and machines doing the work that people used to do. We stood on the debate stage and shifted our national conversation to include the fourth industrial revolution, a topic no one wanted to touch until we made it happen here with this campaign. Our signature proposal, universal basic income, has become part of the mainstream conversation. We increased the popular support for universal basic income to 66% of Democrats. And 72% among voters 18 to 34. Without a doubt, we accelerated the eradication of poverty in our society by years, even generations. And that is thanks to all of you who are here tonight. <laughs> Though thousands of voters came out for our campaign tonight, tonight is not the outcome we fought so hard to achieve. It is bitterly disappointing for many of us, but it shouldn't be. Every single day I've been campaigning, I've had supporters say to me, your campaign helped me out of a depression. Thank you. <laughs> Working on this campaign has made me a better person. I met my significant other because of you. Your campaign brought my family together. Your campaign got me excited about politics for the first time. These are all things that people have said to me in the past days, and they are the reasons why I am so incredibly proud of this campaign and what we've accomplished together. We have touched and improved millions of lives and moved this country we love so much in the right direction. And while there is great work left to be done, you know I am the math guy, and it is clear tonight from the numbers that we are not going to win this race. I am not someone who wants to accept donations and support in a race that we will not win. And so tonight I am announcing I am suspending my campaign for president. Thank you. I love you too. Thank you, New Hampshire. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much, New Hampshire. I love you too. This is not an easy decision or something I made lightly with the team. Endings are hard. And I've always had the intention to stay in this race until the very end. But I have been persuaded that the message of this campaign will not be strengthened by my staying in this race any longer. Endings are hard, New Hampshire, but this is not an ending. This is a beginning. This is just the starting line. This campaign has awakened something fundamental in this country and ourselves. This movement has outlasted over a dozen senators, governors, and members of Congress to become the most exciting force in this entire race. The Yang Yang has fundamentally shifted the direction of this country and transformed our politics, and we are only continuing to grow. I'd like to thank my incredible staff and the hundreds of people who left their lives and their jobs to join and build this campaign. I know what a risk that was. Very few people joined this campaign because they thought it was going to be a good career move. So thank you. Thank you to my team. My goal when I first started running was to solve the problems that got Donald Trump elected. In order to do that, I will support whoever is the Democratic nominee. That said, I hope this campaign can be a message and a word of caution and guidance to my Democratic colleagues that Donald Trump is not the cause of all of our problems. He is a symptom of a disease that has been building up in our communities for years. We must cure the disease that got him elected. And in order to do that, we must address the real problems that affect our people and offer solutions to actually solve them. I stand before you tonight and say that while we did not win this election, we are just getting started. This is the beginning. This movement is the future of American politics. This movement is the future of the Democratic Party. This wave is just beginning and will continue to build and grow until we rewrite the rules of this economy to work for us, the people of this country. Thank you to each and every person who made this campaign possible. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Being your candidate has been the privilege of my life. Together, we will continue to do the work and move this country forward because the Yang Yang isn't going anywhere. We'll be back soon. In the meantime, though, thank you all. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you for everything. Thank you so much. Thank you.